Are you looking to improve your cardiovascular health, but not sure when and how to do it? Then you're in the right place. Today, we're going to be talking about the importance of doing various cardiovascular workouts and when is the best time to do them. Cardiovascular workouts, also known as cardio, are a great way to improve your heart and lung function, increase your endurance, and burn calories. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced fitness enthusiast, cardio is a crucial part of any fitness routine. Cardiovascular running is one of the most popular forms of exercise for those who want to get in the shape quickly. Not only does it help you burn calories and fat, but it also helps improve your cardiovascular health. But what are the different styles of cardio running that can be used to help achieve these goals? Here's a list of seven ways you can mix and match your cardio training today. One, interval training. Interval training is a type of exercise that helps you lose weight. It includes short bursts of intense activity followed by rest periods. This type of training helps to improve your cardiovascular health and burn calories quickly. It can be used by both beginners and experienced fitness people to reach their goals faster. Steady state running. Just like how it's stated, steady state running is a type of exercise that does help you lose weight. You run at the same speed and intensity for a longer period of time. This helps improve your heart and lung health, builds endurance, and burn calories. Three, hill sprints. Hill sprints involves running up a hill and then jogging or walking back down at a steady pace. Hill sprints can really spike up your heart rate. It can be extremely demanding on your lower body as it really helps develop power output as you drive your foot into the ground, sprinting up the hill. Four, fartlek training. Fartlek training involves varying the intensity of speed as you run to help improve your fitness and endurance. Think about this as running at a light pace for a minute, then sprinting for 30 seconds, then going back into a jog for maybe three minutes to recover. Doing different types of intervals like this is what fartlek training is all about. Five, tempo runs. Tempo runs is a type of cardio training that helps you improve your fitness and endurance. It involves running at a steady pace for an extended period of time, similar to steady state cardio, usually between 15 and 30 minutes. You will start slowly and gradually increase your speed as you go. This type of exercise is great for both beginners and experienced exercisers because it helps to build up endurance and strengthen your cardiovascular system. Number six, long slow distance, or LSD for short. Long slow distance is a type of cardio training that helps you improve your endurance and fitness. It involves running at a slow, steady pace for an extended period of time, usually between 30 or 60 minutes. You'll start slowly and keep going at the same pace throughout the whole run. What's different about long slow distance compared to steady state cardio is that long slow distance usually is a longer duration bout at a much lower pace than what you normally would be used to. Think about going for the longest run you ever had for the first time and making sure that you can survive it. You run at a much slower pace than what you probably could. Number seven, cross training. Cross training is a type of exercise that helps you be fit and strong. It involves doing different types of activities like running, jumping, swimming, biking, or even playing a sport. This kind of workout helps you build the endurance, get stronger, and use different muscles in your body. It's great for both beginners and experienced exercisers because it helps keep the exercises interesting and fun. When is the best time to do cardio? The truth is, it's best to do cardio at a time that works best for you and your schedule. Some people prefer to do cardio first thing in the morning, while others prefer to do it in the evenings after work. When looking at your weekly schedule, make sure that you plan for your cardiovascular training. The best time is when you can get it done. It's about being consistent with your cardiovascular training program and doing the best you can, while fitting it in when you can. Understand that adjustments may be needed due to the weather changing, time restrictions, and other things that may come up. And remember, something is better than nothing, so do your best during your training sessions when you are in it. Also, different days may require you to run at different times, 
So don't feel like you have to always run in the morning or that you always have to run at a midday or afternoon. Some days you can run in the morning, some days it might be the afternoon, but make sure that you schedule it in. Regardless of when you choose to do cardio, it's important to warm up before you start and to cool down after you finish. A proper warm up can help prevent injuries and a proper cool down can help your body recover and prepare for your next workout. So if you are ready to improve your cardiovascular health, lose weight and boost your energy levels, make cardio a part of your fitness routine. Whether you choose to do it in the morning or in the evening, consistency is the key to seeing results. Remember to stay motivated, stay dedicated, and stay active.